Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan channel. I got three stories to share with you in this latest Moon Family Sedan tepid jam. I'll start with this one from the Daily Hoddle. Pro XRP lawyer forecasts end of Ripple lawsuit as rumors of settlement swirl. And in terms of those uh, rumors of settlement, I think a lot of it uh, came from the story that's on your screen right here. This one's from the Crypto Basic. Cardano founder braces for embarrassment if Ripple settlement rumors fall through. And uh, spoiler alert, as cited by Charles Hoskinson of Cardano, they did fall through. Um, and then also I wanted to share with you uh, some community discussion having to do with the idea of what happens to XRP on the exchanges uh, where it is still traded in the United States if XRP is... Um, you know, is, is found to be a security. Let's say Ripple actually loses and we get the most disastrous scenario possible. But but even if you get a positive ruling, well, wh what if the, is, are, like, is Coinbase just going to list at the district court level if you get a positive ruling? Because there's always the opportunity for appeal. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say, right? I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, so into the first piece. Attorney and XRP supporter John Deaton is now outlining when he thinks the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's lawsuit against Ripple will arrive at its long-awaited conclusion. On a new episode of Real Vision Crypto, Deaton was asked whether he sees the summary judgment for the case to happen by March 31st. I can't believe 2023, the damn lawsuits filed at the end of 2020. Oh, how time flies when you're having fun, right? But anyway, here's a quote from uh, attorney Deaton on Real Vision. I don't see it happening before March 31st, but it is possible because the judge is very aware. She granted us a Michi status. She knows that there are tens of thousands of holders and there have been 17 amicus briefs filed in this case. So it's very possible, but you have millions of pages of documents that have been filed. She's going to have to go through it. I would say the end of March is the earliest. I fear it could go into April or early May for a decision as well, end quote. Oh, folks, I, I think he's, he's, he's perf perfectly reasonable to suppose that may be the case. He may very well be right. I do not want it to drag on that long. I mean, yes, fine. Look, I'd rather make sure that Judge Torres doesn't feel rushed and she gets it done, uh, you know, in a way that is, you know, quote unquote, right. I'd rather have that than it be rushed. But my God, I still hope it doesn't take that freaking long. It has been literally we're coming up on the two year anniversary. Y'all remember uh, the two year anniversary of the official filing of the lawsuit against Ripple. It was December 22nd of, uh, of, of 2020. What is it? It's the 16th today, isn't it? But yeah, it's the 16th today. So, pretty darn close. <laughs> Peace continues. Deaton has played an active role in the ongoing lawsuit, filing an amicus brief, brief on behalf of XRP supporters in opposition, opposition to the regulator's motion for summary judgment. The SEC sued Ripple in late 2020 for allegedly selling XRP as an unregistered security. And then we get into the Hoskinson stuff, which I have to highlight. I don't really want to belabor any points on this, but I do want to highlight this because... It's news. This is an XRP-centric channel, and this has just been discussed all over the place throughout the community on social media and all sorts of crypto media outlets picking up the story, which is why you get headlines like this from the Crypto Basic. A Cardano founder braces for embarrassment if Ripple settlement rumors fall through. Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson appears to have made peace with the potential embarrassment and backlash from the XRP community should rumors of a Ripple settlement with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission prove false for a tweet from the Cardano founder today. And, and so I'll just remind you at a, it was, it was during a uh, AMA session, ask me anything session, Charles Hoskinson was uh, was asked a question that resulted in, in, in noting, because mind you, I'll just back up just a little bit. A lot of what was being discussed in that ask me anything session was, you know, securities implications for Cardano. Cardano. And so you, you, you can't really talk about that. With, I mean, you could, it's not, it's not a good idea, but you shouldn't talk about uh, securities implications for Cardano or any crypto without bringing up the current landscape and what's happening in the SEC v. Ripple case, which is going to be uh, endlessly impactful to everybody in the space. Uh, and, and so he noted that he actually had heard from somebody that he works, and mind you, Charles Hoskinson, 
know, he's got somewhere in the neighborhood of like a million followers on Twitter, you know, co-founder of Ethereum, a founder of Cardano. He knows people. And so he knows top industry insiders. And so him hearing a rumor from somebody he knows is different than the rest of us hearing a rumor about anything having to crypto from people we know. It's a little different. I think it's fair to state. And so he heard from somebody who he trusted, who he knows is in the know, that uh, there's supposed to be a rumor between the SEC and Ripple uh, on December 15th, yesterday. And that didn't happen. And so I actually tweeted out yesterday that I was joking, of course, but at 3.19 in the afternoon, Central Standard Time, I wrote, Hey, everyone, it's the 15th, so I guess that means the Ripple lawsuit has settled today, which obviously had not, uh, which is, was my expectation. I didn't think that there was really anything to this, as I've shared on the channel before. And Charles Haskinson was kind of realizing that, so in the morning yesterday, he tweeted out the following. He wrote, Let's see if the rumors I heard are right about the XRP resolution. <laughs> might have some egg on my face. And then he shared this gif, it's not playing right now, but uh, there's this guy that's on the right, he smashed a raw egg on his face, and so Charles Hoskinson said, if the rumor doesn't play out, he might have some egg on his face. And so, it is what it is, it, it didn't, it, now look, it doesn't mean there won't be a settlement. Uh, with each passing day, I'm less confident that there will be, but uh, it's not impossible at this point. I just, it's just amazing to me the, the way everything's developed. I mean, so many people, myself included, really thought that the Bill Hinman emails, that would have been the thing that would just make them come to the table and settle. But uh, it looks like the SEC, at least at this point, wants to go the, whole, the full distance. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky and there's an actual settlement. But just going to have to sit, sit patiently and wait. Um, then I also wanted to highlight this, which I think is a really interesting question. And I don't, I don't have a final answer, but I, I want to help to, you know... Uh, push along the conversation within our community here. But there's this question of what happens to XRP no matter what, certainly in the United States anyway, um, whether Ripple gets a favorable ruling or the SEC gets a favorable ruling. And so there was a, a video clip that's on your screen right here shared by XRP community member JV. In the clip, uh, there's a, a discussion going on on this very topic, and it's from Brad Kimes' YouTube channel. And JV wrote the following. This is for everyone that's saying, oh, Uphold already sells securities, so they're just going to keep selling XRP. It doesn't work like that in the real world, people. Great interview. And, and then he says, this is why I asked Uphold. What would be the next steps if Ripple loses and XRP is deemed a security? Even if Ripple appeals that decision by the judge, because as of now, we still able to throw money at it. Would there be an immediate delisting? Now, that's a good question. I would love to know how uh, how Uphold would respond. And because uh, there are like three uh, cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States, including Uphold, where you can still buy and sell XRP. Not a lot of choices at this particular juncture in time. But, uh, you know, if I am concerned that if Ripple wins, which I think is is most probable. When I say win, look, they could get fined. They, even if they get like a technical loss, when I say win, what I'm really thinking is, like, is there a path forward for XRP in the United States? And even if the answer is yes, and the judge rules, hey, in terms of what's happening in secondary markets, those obviously are not unregistered securities transactions. Even if we get that, which I'm optimistic for, uh, you know, is Coinbase just going to suddenly instantly relist XRP? I don't have the answer for that. Um, really nobody does, nobody knows for sure, but what's probable? Well, what happens if uh, if the day that the, the, the it's announced that, you know, the judge rules in favor of Ripple for, for summary judgment, so Ripple wins, what if on that very day the SEC says, uh, hey, we're going to appeal this thing, we're going to take it to the appellate court? Well, d d does Coinbase then list XRP? When they've got all, all the shareholders to answer to and the board of directors and all that jazz? Is, is that what's going to happen? I'm actually, I hope the answer is yes, but I'm not that particularly optimistic that we necessarily would. So there, there could be, and I, I think there will be, a dramatic rally to the positive for XRP should, should it get a positive regulatory clarity. I'm optimistic for that. We'll see what happens. I don't know. But um, in the United States, what's that going to mean? <laughs> Uh, there's going to be there's going to have to be a lot of internal discussions on on what that means.
maybe it would be reasonable. I, I don't know. If you're if you're a you know general counsel of one of these firms, especially if it's Coinbase like a publicly traded company, like what what do you do? Do you say, okay, well, let's relist XRP. We got a favorable favorable ruling at the district court level. And then you just what delist it again if upon appeal the SEC wins? Just back and forth and back and forth. I don't know. It's it's not real, it's honestly, it's just not obvious how that would unfold. But it's an interesting topic. And if Ripple loses, uh is, is Uphold just going to have to stop selling XRP? Answer may be yes. Maybe the last few exchanges, they actually would. If, if, if secondary market transactions happen to be found to be illegal securities transactions. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. And also, don't forget, this would be the first ruling in history that the underlying asset by the nature of it existing is a security. That's never happened in the history of this country. This would be a first. Just like oranges aren't securities. And chinchillas are not securities. And beavers are not securities. And these are all from SEC court cases, mind you. <laughs> they're, they're not. They're not. Um, I don't know. I'd love to hear what you think. I don't have a, a firm answer. I, w- I wish I, 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 I had one for you. I, I'm, I'm somewhat in the middle on this because I just, I don't know what's probable. I don't have a strong feeling in terms of even what's probable, but it's an interesting topic of conversation. So I guess let's keep it going and let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan.